Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, The Cloud Engineering, and I'm back with a video on Data Engineer Roadmap. So in case you have just completed your engineering studies, or you want to uh, become a data engineer, or you are already a working professional and you want to switch your career into data engineering, uh, so in that case, this video will be very helpful for you. So let's start with my introduction. So I may working professional i have more than 15 years of experience in it industry and apart from my it experience i have around 10 years of experience in online training and on aws side i am a certified professional solution architect and on google side i am gcp certified professional cloud architect so let's start with the roadmap So we will be starting with the basics. Whenever you are planning to switch your job or you want to get a new job, you should start with basics. That means you should be aware about basic mathematical concepts regarding algebra or statistics. Apart from that, you should be having some knowledge about some programming language. It's not mandatory to be Python, but any programming language you should be aware about because almost every language has some basics features like you can say algorithms, data structures, searching, sorting, how to iterate over a loop, how to iterate over a list and how to process your data. Apart from that, you should have some basic knowledge on database. Like you know, you should be knowing that what is a table, what are the rows, what are the columns, what is a primary key and how to execute a basic SQL command on the database. So these things I am assuming that you should be already knowing and after that the next thing is learn big data technologies when we say big data means we are dealing with large amount of data and as you know that nowadays every single second a lot of data is being generated over internet like billions and trillions of terabytes and petabytes of data is being generated over different social networking website different banking website different forms and there are many more sources of the data. So in order to process big data, that means large amount of data, there is a Hadoop ecosystem. So prior to AWS, I was providing training on Hadoop. So I have a, I have few training videos. I can provide the description and the, I can provide the link of the Hadoop training videos in the description. You can go through that so that you understand how to distributively store the data and how we can process the data in a distributed manner. On top of Hadoop, we have Spark, which overcomes the limitation of Hadoop and it is uh, more capable of processing your data in real time. So I can provide the links for Hadoop and Spark and you can go through as per your convenience. Once we are done with big data technologies, you don't have to go into much detail, but you should be uh, having some basic idea what Hadoop is all about, what Spark is all about, so that you are ready to understand like how the data is processed in a distributed environment. The next is version control. Writing the code is one thing, processing the data is one thing, but at the same time, you need to maintain your version. You may be working in a team and your team may be, uh, you can say, available in different countries, different geographical location. In that case, you need to collaborate with your team and your code, whatever you are writing and your colleagues are writing, the code need to be collaborated together. So for that one, you should be aware about any uh, version control tool. The most common and the most famous is Git. So I can provide some links for a small Git video so that you can understand how Git works internally. What are the ma main Git commands to, uh, you can say, control and maintain the version of your code. Once your code is ready, you need to think about automation and scripting. Suppose it's a website, that means it will be running uh, throughout the day 24 by 7. But suppose it's a data processing project, that means you may be processing your data at a defined schedule or sometime it can be event based trigger. Suppose some event is happening, suppose the file is coming into some directory and as soon as the file is coming, we want to trigger the data processing. And another scenario can be producer and consumer. One process is processing the data and another one is consuming the data. So in any such scenario, you should be aware about that how to 
schedule my code so that it can trigger on a defined schedule and how it can help you to process your data automatically without any manual intervention okay after version control the next is understand cloud services it's very important thing because everything in it industry is moving towards cloud that means you have to learn cloud in case you want to get a good job uh, in it and once you are aware about basic uh, cloud uh, you can say knowledge then you can go with cloud services like for storage we have amazon s3 for storage and for database we have redshift similarly if you are going with any other cloud provider like azure so we have data lake if you are going with google we have bigquery so you should learn few tools and few data services from cloud service provider so that you can use those services in your project and once you are aware and you have knowledge about individual services then you have to understand how to integrate these services in a single project because multiple services will be participating to uh, create your entire project so you know you need to understand about data pipeline how data pipelines are designed and what are the best practices for designing a data pipeline so i have a complete training series for aws data engineer it has around 30 videos i can provide the link you can explore these aws services videos as per your convenience maybe one video per day so that within like uh, one and a half month it's a six week six 30 videos almost so within one and a half month you should be aware about uh, aws services okay so after that once you have knowledge basic knowledge from your college or from your current project and then you have idea about uh, cloud services you have idea about version control after that it would be a continuous learning process because in it in in order to can say stay in it you have to be always up to date that means the tools will keep on coming the new features will keep on coming new tools and technology will be there in the market you should be aware about what is the trending what is the latest tools and technology and you should be uh, learning those technology so that you can utilize your knowledge in your current project okay whenever you get a chance to work on any project maybe if you are in college then you are working on a small projects if you are in a company then you are working on real project or sometime you may be getting pocs that is proof of concept if some new tool or technology is coming in the market that means you will be uh, doing a small poc for that so practical exposure is more important along with going through the videos you should create a trial account on aws that's free of cost and you should practice all this aws services on your trial account okay and certification once you have the practical exposure once you have the uh, practical knowledge and confidence you can go for aws certification so few certifications are available like AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner, AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate and similarly AWS Certified Solution Architect Professional. So as per your experience level, as per your uh, knowledge and practical exposure, you can start with a lower certification and you can later on plan for a higher AWS certification. So this would be a continuous process whenever you will make uh, progress in your IT career. Okay. Moving to the next thing, scope for data engineer. If we are putting a lot of efforts to go through these videos, to do the things practically on AWS trial account, then what benefit we will be getting? So definitely there is a quite bright future for data engineer. The reason being is almost every company is migrating their projects to the cloud. That means they would need data engineer. And AWS is one of the leading cloud service provider. Although we have Google and Microsoft Azure as well, but AWS is leading the cloud market and that can give you benefit to get a AWS project quickly. And you can see that organization continue to invest in data driven initiatives. The demand for skilled AWS data engineer is expected to remain strong. In upcoming few years, you can think that every company would need data engineers to analyze and process their data. Coming to the last but not the least part is package for data engineer in case we are becoming data engineer we are able to uh, get a data engineering project what can be the package it depends upon the experience level if you are a uh, you can say fresher entry level aws data engineer right 
in that case you can expect something around 6 to 10 lakhs INR. If you are having some experience like 2 to 5 years of experience, you can expect something around 8 to 15 uh, lakhs INR. And this whatever I am specifying here is the bare minimum. Depending upon the company, depending upon the cities, depending upon the you can say country, you may get very higher package as well. But this is the bare minimum you can get in case you are becoming a data engineer. And on a senior level, you can say if you have 5 plus year of experience, you can expect something around 15 to 30 lakhs INR as well. And there are a few factors which are affecting the package. One is location. If you are in a, a major, uh, you can say IT hub like Bangalore, Hyderabad, or if you are in a different country, it can be a higher side. And skills and certification as well. When you hold a certification, then there are more chances to get a job and get a project uh, quickly as well as the package can be on the higher side. Okay, so this was all about package uh, for data engineer. And now we have one more slide where we will talk about the timelines. Whatever things we talked about, like uh, cloud things we have to learn and version control we have to learn, right? How much time it should take? So According to me and as per my experience, because I have trained uh, many people on AWS, as per my previous experience, three months should be a good time to, to be ready as a data engineer. So one week you can spend on the basics like statistics, programming, databases. If you are coming, uh, I mean, if you are already having that basic knowledge, I think you can skip that part and you can directly jump to big data tools. So Hadoop ecosystem and Spark, I can provide the links and you can spend one week on each one week for learning Hadoop and one week for learning spark then you will understand how the large amount of data is being processed version control should be one week like uh, how to commit the code into the repository how if multiple team members are working then how to merge your code all these things you can learn in one week then the major part will be going into cloud services as i was explaining there are around 30 videos which you can go through and try the hands-on on AWS trial account that may need six weeks. And finally, I'm keeping two weeks for continuous learning in case something new is coming because AWS provides a lot of services and they keep on adding new services. So you should always be up to date and you keep on preparing for your interviews, doing some small projects as well. Once you are done with these 30 videos, I am recording a video on AWS projects almost every week. So you can go through that. And this way, after three months, you should be uh, good to go as a data engineer. Okay. So that was all about how to become a cloud data engineer. In case you are, you are having any doubt, you can always uh, post as a comment to the video. And if you like the video, if you find this video helpful, Please subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any upcoming video on any tool and technology or whether it's an interview preparation or it's a project. You should get a notification uh, for all the upcoming videos. So thanks for watching. Thank you.